The holidays are typically thought of, of course, as a happy time, but for some, they can have a negative impact on our mental health. The National Alliance of Mental Health says 64% of people with mental illnesses say the holiday season makes their condition even worse. Dr. Brenda Lloyd-Jones from the University of Oklahoma is here with us on this Thursday to talk about how we can all get through the holidays with a little less stress. So we know, of course, the holidays can be a bit of a stressful time for some. Uh, what kind of advice do you have for folks? Yes, um, you know, people are sad and depressed uh, for a myriad of reasons. Some have lost loved ones, others um, don't have access to get to uh, their loved ones. and. Uh, I would suggest uh, those who are feeling sad, sometimes it's it's okay for them to sit with their feelings and to think about what it is uh, that's making them sad. Sometimes it'll lead them to a photo album or some pictures or uh, it will um, provide an opportunity for them to look at a video and sort of bring a smile to their face or lift their hearts. They of course can reach out to others who may be in a similar situation and then they can certainly commiserate uh, my suggestion, though, is to get connected. Get connected, uh, whether that's virtually or physically, if you uh, feel inclined to, accept one of the invitations that you've received and, and attend that event. If someone says, I haven't received any invitations <laughs> yet, then invite some people over into your space. Invite them over. And if you say, I haven't decorated like I used to in the past, then invite them for lunch uh, uh, out at an eatery, coffee or tea. The goal is to connect and have a chance to share in gratitude together. So uh, I have a podcast recommendation and it's called The Very Good Mind Podcast. They, that podcast visits depression, sadness, anxiety. I think they will find it useful. All right. I love that advice. 